Let's imagine a pristine freshwater ecosystem, a lake surrounded by a wooded area, frogs are hopping, fish are swimming, phytoplankton photosynthesizing. Now let's take that same freshwater ecosystem and toss in some buildings, roads, sewage flowing in through pipes, and physical garbage swimming in the water. Urbanization is defined by the OECD as the process by which a large number of people become permanently concentrated in relatively small areas forming cities. Although the goal of urbanization is to improve our quality of life, problems arise with rapid and unsustainable urbanization. Our population is increasing and so is the amount of waste we are globally producing. It is projected that by the year 2050, our population will rise to 9.7 billion. With more people means more resource use and ultimately more waste. A large proportion of the waste is unrecycled plastic. When plastic is not properly disposed of, it can infiltrate our freshwater ecosystems. Here, it does not readily biodegrade. Instead, it breaks up into smaller fragments known as microplastics. These can be ingested by organisms impacting the ecosystem at multiple trophic levels. However, these implications are being studied under urban ecology, the study of relations between organisms and their environment in the context of an urban setting. Cities around the world are working towards more ecologically friendly living, known as eco-cities. These cities are focusing on improving their waste management strategies, aiming for a zero-waste society. Through various strategies, we are already seeing progression in achieving these goals.